Hi guys, my name is Alina and I'm a model since... Oh my god, I'm so old. Many years before I became a blogger. So today I want to tell you about some stuff from models life. And now we talk about castings and shootings, how models should be dressed. It will be about clothes, accessories, shoes and other one. But spoiler, you shouldn't wear makeup on your face. I am look a little bit extra only for filming this video for you. So let's get started. Of course, on all castings you will take black bikini for showing your body. But today we will not talk about it. Firstly, about models look at always something comfortable like jeans and t-shirt, especially skinny jeans. It's perfect for castings because show your legs and white t-shirt, it's always good choice. I like blue skinny jeans, white tops and of course heels. On every casting you should bring heels because it's a rule of industry. It's maybe natural color or black, I prefer black. For another casual look, I choose white blouse which I stylize this way. It's look cool and make me feel comfortable on castings. I'm also like shirts because for summer it's perfect shirts and show my legs too. I may stylize some blouse for make it look like crop top, so what do you think about this? And of course I'm not forget about belt, because this make emphasis on the waist. If I want something darker, I choose black top with low shoulders, shirt the same. Every model should bring heels on casting, but of course it will be madness wearing heels all day between castings and fittings, so I take my bag and put heels inside and of course wearing sneakers is my favorite footwear of all time. I like white color because it's matching with all my looks. But sometimes I prefer flip-flops in bronze color when it's too hot outside. Also, I like beige heels because so I'm just like this color too. And if you ask me what is the black folder in your hand, I answer you, this is a model's book. Inside all my good photos for showing on casting. Of course, I have iPad too, but some people like print photos, so me too. And I also have mini photos in my bag. You never know when your agent is calling you and say go to casting right now. It's good bonus to have print photos, trust me. And yes, I have not so good vision and I'm wearing contact lenses, but sometimes I'm wearing eyeglasses and of course I should take off them on casting. The main thing is not to fall during the runway. You shouldn't wear accessories on castings because it's can to distract from your personality and agency don't like it, but I like. So I take off all my earrings and bracelets, I will be look more natural. Also many models like using special products for skin, like lotion with shimmers for glowing skin. I'm using this not so often, but sometimes it will be good when I have tan, for example. So if you're living in California, it's perfect for you all year round. How I already said, makeup is not for casting, but you can using a little bit of concealer for covering dark circles, it's not a big deal. But full makeup is strictly prohibited and can make negative opinion about your professionalism. I'm always wearing nude manicure, it's rule number one in industry, but my pedicure sometimes with extra color like red. But it's not so often too, nude is my everything in work. And my advice for you, not using perfume for casting, even if you like it so much, because some people may have allergy. You should take care of other people around you, you may use only light mist for body if you want. So I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and I will be happy if you subscribe to my channel, to my Instagram, it will be many interesting videos for you in the future. I love you guys, bye! Why on that day when I need to shoot video about castings, I have makeup like I'm going to Coachella. Perfect.